Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Sean Higgs from NJWiseGuys.com, and we're going to cover the uh, Oklahoma State Baylor game. Interesting game. Uh, interesting that Sean chose it. Sean Higgs, thanks for being back with us. I'm oh, glad to be here, Peter. Thanks for having me again. All right, before we hear your thoughts on this game, you know, it's Oklahoma State as now a 28 and a half point uh, road underdog. Quickly give a plug for NJWiseGuys.com. Tell everyone what that site's all about. Yeah, it's a great multi capper site, and it's got what everybody loves. Free content, free picks every day, especially on uh, now college basketball and college football coming down a little bit less games on Saturday. Always about a dozen free picks up there on a weekend. And during the week, you know, I was on there today. I got six picks up there from uh, the, mul the multiple cappers on there. So there's always uh, fun stuff to do on that site. Oak State Baylor, this is a tough one. I'm not exactly, I definitely wouldn't pick this game if I wanted to analyze the game this week. Baylor, right now, the line is 28 and a half, and that's been bet up from about uh, 25 and a half, which was the open, the total 67 and a half. And, you know, Baylor's off a bye, Oklahoma State. Wheels are coming off, right? They've uh, lost five in a row against the spread. Their offense are scoring like 10 or 14 points a game. Baylor's offense is huge, and Oklahoma State's defense isn't really holding anyone down either. In this stretch of ATS losses, they've given up more than 40 points in two of those games. So, you know, against an offense like Baylor, nothing to expect, no, no reason based on, uh, you know, recent performance to expect them to be able to hold Baylor down. What do you like here, Sean? Well, I'm not a big fan of laying close to 30, but I will. No. no. <laughs> You know, listen, what did I say about Baylor? We'll keep it short and sweet. Revenge from last year cost them an undefeated season, basically. Chance at a good BCS Bowl. Here they're coming out of their bye week, 18-2 and two against the number at home. Like you said, Oklahoma State's been terrible. I mean, on the road, there are two games on the road this year. They lost to uh, TCU 42-9 and K-State, I believe, 48-14. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's Baylor going to do here? They're still in the hunt, believe it or not, for this playoff thing going on here. I mean, I think that's a – I like how they put these things out every Tuesday, lets you talk about it. So I think this team's still alive. And, come on, 60-14 to 14 seems reasonable for Baylor. I, I think they're going to try to run it up a little bit because they saw what TCU did, you know, on the road. They put up that 80 points. I think it kind of holds fair because people are like, wow, look at the way these guys are playing lately. You know, you put up close to 70 at home over anybody uh, in a power conference, I think they get to notice a little bit more. And I think they got to make, make a little bones for themselves here. I think the uh, – SEC is going to eat themselves up, and there might be a spot open in that championship game there for the BCS playoffs. I think Baylor could slide in there if they uh, get their cards played right. All right, Sean, what can I say? You know, I, I can't say I disagree with you. I also can't say I agree with you. I'm going to pass on this one. It's just, uh, you know, do you think that uh, Oklahoma State's uh, failures on offense in the past few games were, are, are something that they can correct, or is that just going to be the way they are the rest of the year? Listen, I think they're just going to mail it in. Mm -hmm. I'd be a little worried. You know, Baylor's got Texas Tech up next. Not much of a look at it. They should take care of, you know, wipe the floor with them too. Kansas State after that. Um, listen, Baylor's got to do what they got to do. I think it's going to be like one of those 64-17, 64-20 thing. I, I, I'd lay 40 in this game first. <laughs> I think they're going to do a number. It's going to be one of those games where you'll be like, man, how come I didn't take Baylor here? It's going to be one of those crazy crooked numbers hanging mm -hmm. on the score. People are going to be like, Baylor, how many did he put up today? <laughs> Sean Higgs, kind of ballsy play here. Uh, 28 and a half is the current line. It's been bet up. Maybe it'll close at 30 or higher. Who knows? But right now, 28 and a half is the widely available number, and that is Sean Higgs' play for Baylor, Oklahoma State. Thanks so much, Sean. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.